moon beams and fenders and Thomas, Thomas if you're watching <laughs> um, and welcome to my second reaction video uh, firstly I'd like to apologise because my laptop's being a bit no not noisy recently um, I think there's dot dots in the final or something I'm not sure how to fix it yet but other than, than that, I just got home from work and Thomas uploaded a story time Mad Libs uh, video to his second channel, Thomas Sanders and Friends. So, if you don't want spoilers or, or, or you haven't seen it yet, I recommend going to watch that and then come back to my reaction video or if someone else has done some watch shows first. So. Link will be in the description. Um, and let's just get straight into it then. <laughs> For this video's cold open, I asked you all to submit adjectives that describe me in phrases you often hear me say. So here we go. Hi, I'm Thomas Sanders. I'm very dapper. And also quirky. And also homosexual. <laughs> I often say what is up, everybody? As well as okay, guys, knock on wood, but. <laughs> Ashley. The video will be out tomorrow. I promise. And even though I didn't ask for it, many of you took it upon yourselves to point out the fact that I constantly check my hair when I look into the viewfinder. I'm sorry, it is getting so long, I can't help it! What is up, everybody? I'm very excited today because we're returning to one of my favorite games, Storytime Mad Libs, but this time we're making it even more special because we're bringing it to life, baby! If you want to get acquainted or reacquainted with this game, you can click up here, but the basic gist, my friends read out three stories with a bunch of blanks in them, and those blanks were filled with Twitter submissions that you and some of my friends sent me after I requested nouns, verbs, adjectives, and a ton of other things. I know what's going in these blanks, you guys didn't. And this time, with the help of many artists out there, we are- I'm just- Pausing because I forgot to mention in my intro. Um, I don't. I don't know for sh sure. Honestly, I don't know. But I. I did submit a clip. I don't know. No. No. If it. I. Um, it made it in or not. But <laughs> I've been kind of nervous all all, all day because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, back to the video. <laughs> We are providing visuals for these twisted tales. And speaking of which, there is a theme for this video. Fairy tales. And yes, they are largely influenced by their corresponding Disney movies. Not sorry about it. Let's see how bad you all unknowingly tainted these classic yarns. Story time. Sleeping Beauty. Definitely not what they call me. Once upon a time, in an <laughs> kingdom, there lived a pair of rulers. They were super insecure because they didn't have any children. One day, their prayers were answered and they had a daughter. They threw a huge baby. <laughs> to celebrate, everyone was doing the royal dance to commemorate the new baby, whom they decided to name Lady Gaga. The rulers had also invited the three good to the party. There are only three good ones, hoping they would bestow upon Lady Gaga magical puppies, just millions of puppies. The first gave the princess the gift of sexy lungs. The second gave her a throne made of toads for our supreme leader. And that penguin was escorted out of the Beyblade tournament. That was a weird gift, really offset some people. And the third was just about to speak when Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington fell over the crowd. Turns out the rulers had failed to invite one guest. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> oh man, he walked in and cast a spell on the princess. Ooh, do I have to do a Nicholas Cage impression again? Okay. On her 17th birth. <laughs> on her 17th birth. No. <laughs> Okay. On her 17th birth, I can't do it. <laughs> on her 17th birthday, she'll prick her weenus on a I'm a kill you stick and die. Then he disappeared, saying, I I'm head out. The king exclaimed, What just happened? The queen shouted, Whoa. And all the guests were saying, Jiminy Cricket. Because Jiminy Cricket just showed up. But then they reacted to what just happened by saying, That was totally weird. But like in a bad way. The oh third penguin God. knew what to do. She was like, it's cool guys. She's not gonna die. She's just gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until the spell is lifted by true love's kiss. That is something. That is something right there. And then she and the other penguin disappeared. The rulers were obviously really tired of this prophecy. So they had all the I'm a kill you sticks in the kingdoms destroyed. Time passed 
Exactly. Ten minutes. <laughs> okay, but the princess does have to be a little older than a baby. Centuries. And the princess needs to be not dead. Nine hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred. <laughs> We're just a bunch of theater nerds, aren't we? Sixteen years. That's it! That's perfect! That's exactly the right amount of years. I don't care if it's not silly, we're going with it. For sixteen years, they thought they were... Fabulous. They also thought they were safe, and neither of those things were true. One day, Lady Gaga came across a... Stinky. ...woman using an I'm a kill you stick. She'd never seen one before. And something... ...compelled her... ...to... Immediately, she her Weenish. on it, which led to her, and then the mm -hmm. the good penguins discovered this and exclaimed, "Oh my ravioli cheese, the caramel gracious! I cannot stand that macaroni cheese stick! I just wanted to put it and cast a spell on the kingdom. By night one way, by day another, this shall be the norm. Until you find true love's first kiss, then take love's true form." And despite that being the spell from Shrek, it made everyone in the kingdom do the same creepy walk until the spell was lifted. <laughs> Why? Because the penguin who cast it was the same one who gave the gift of the throne of toes. So, you know, she was just a weird one. Anyway, uh oh. Um, time passed. Exactly. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Eyes up. Sure. Roller coasters. Grew go around the palace. One day, a Edgy. prince heard the tale of the bewitched princess in a castle far away. He sashayed to the castle, but was met by none other than Nicolas Cage, who shouted, No! <laughs> That was a bit scary, sorry. He then transformed himself into a giant German Shepherd. It was fierce looking, baring its teeth thusly. <laughs> the penguins enchanted the prince's Frappuccino. to fly straight into Nicolas Cage's left. Me. The cage meister <laughs> cried out. Uh, <laughs> and down he went. <laughs> the prince journeyed up into the princess's room, and there she was. So creepy. Really, yeah. <laughs> truly creepy. He knew what he had to do. Literally shaking, the prince made his way to the princess, closed his, no. puckered his, <laughs> and slapped her. Then he remembered he was supposed to kiss her, and he did that. She awoke, gazed into his eyes, and said, How about you, yabba dabba, don't? He explained he only did it to save her in a true love's kiss and all, and she got that, but yeah, back off. And he did. What's the moral of the story? Anything can be a weapon if you use it wrong enough. The end. All right, that one was actually a lot of fun. That came together a lot better than I thought that was going to. Um, Let's move on to story number two and see what other fairy tales we can mess up, shall we? Story time. The Little Mermaid. Once upon a time, in the land of anywhere but here, there was a giant mermaid who lived under the sea. Her name was Daisy Jo. Daisy Jo, <laughs> yes. And she mean the world of humans. One day, she saw a ship go by with the most disastrous twink boy she had ever seen. Suddenly, one singular box of hornets hit the ship and the man went gyrating overboard. The princess exclaimed, oh wait, did I explain the mermaid was a princess? The mermaid's a princess. The princess exclaimed, oh, shark fart. She swam awkwardly over to him and skipped him safely to shore. She sang to him with her fear inducing voice, hoping to wake him up, all the while thinking they could be cars. Just as his eyes began to open, she heard the sounds of a search party. Prince, I'm do this if you can hear me! <laughs> Wanting to stay, but knowing her father would forbid it, she boogied back into the ocean. The amount of time it takes a bunny to change a light bulb went by, and the princess knew she had to poke the prince again. She had heard stories about a mysterious figure that might help her. Ursula, the sea. Ginger. After traveling to Ursula's Pizza Palace, Daisy Jo begged for her help. The sea chinchilla saw an opportunity to get something for herself. She told the princess, if you do want to see the prince again, you will trade your Netflix for legs. That's a tough trade. Yep, despite this trade seeming a little bit fishy, the princess Squawk. and Ursula cast her spell. Abra -ca Dab. <laughs> Storing Daisy Joe's Netflix account in her magical potato. Ursula oh, then great. revealed her trick. Daisy Joe must get true friendships Grace, no? in three days, or she will be turned into poopy. Oh, yes, she will be turned into poopy and belong to Ursula forever. Then she called upon a mighty. Confused. 
<laughs> Probably because it was underwater. To carry the princess to shore. <laughs> At that very moment, the prince was patty caking along the shore, thinking about the mystery girl who impregnated him. <laughs> Suddenly, he sees the very same girl coming out of the water doing this. <laughs> Okay. The prince ran to her and brought her to Florida, thinking they could be Kauai. friends from a spaceship made of hot dogs. Ursula saw that her plan to steal Daisy Joe's Netflix account might fail. She disguised herself as a YouTuber and cast this spell to bewitch the prince. Hippity hoppity. Get off my property. Daisy Joe, seeing her bro in danger, went and cuddled Ursula, breaking the spell. <laughs> Ursula was enraged by this display of friendship and tried her magic once more to summon a storm of cheese balls. The princess and the prince <laughs> ran to the Epcot ball and eat it. it into the sea. They fired all their emo bracelets at the sea chinchilla. Perhaps they were true friendships? Emo bracelets? Ursula cried out. <laughs> and sank to the most psychedelic part of the sea. The king of the sea had been over this act of bravery from afar and decided to grant the princess her own 25 legs. At last, the prince and the princess came together and did what they've always wanted to do. <laughs> they all lived swimmingly ever after. I couldn't help myself. What's the moral of the story, you may ask? A potato. The turtles. Oh, gosh, this is fun. I like these stories being, like, super weird, but also semi-making sense. It's quite a, it's kind of a fun exercise. I have to wonder, are we, are we destroying these tales, or are we making them better? I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on to story number three. Story time. <coughs> Rapunzel. Let's just be real, it's tangled. <laughs> Long ago, in the land of okay, that's an actual place in Wales, so we're just gonna call it Wales. There was a girl named. Oh, I get it because like Rapunzel is a kind of vegetable, and you're paralleling it by naming her after a type of fruit. That is actually very clever. Well done, young Gavin. You're a genius. She was trapped away in a giant toothbrush in the middle of Middle Earth. In the middle of Middle Earth. That is. That is very middle. <laughs> this girl was gifted yeah. -like. powers through her Slimy. hair, the color of purple. <laughs> wait, wait, no, black. Wait, no, blue. Wait, no, frick, um, purple. <laughs> she wanted to explore the outside world so badly, and more than anything, she wanted to attend the annual event she could only see from her giant toothbrush. <laughs> Uh, Horse feet. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Coincidentally, it happened every year on her birthday. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but her kidnapper, an evil pigeon, told her that the outside world was filled with Wolverine and that it was just downright sickening. But in a bad way. So instead, she spent her time inside with her pet Tarantula. named Pippin. That's appropriate, Middle Earth. Oh. Things took an interesting turn one day when Danny DeVito showed Danny up in her prison like this and said, I am a trash goblin. It was pretty weird, so she hit him with a ukulele, yelling, Street smart. Danny was appalled to hear this girl spent every day inside just watching Thomas Sanders on YouTube. So he convinced her to escape with him. The first thing she did when she stepped outside was Scoot. around in the grass. But that was only the beginning. They ended up in a tavern full of stuffed animals where Danny was forced to sing about word association games. And what a sight it was. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like that. Um, can we have Danny DeVito in a pirate hat now, artists? They also almost ended up cosplaying in a Starbucks. And after escaping, UFOs. the girl found out that she was actually my dad. <laughs> wow. My dad? <laughs> dad, where have you been? <laughs> the kidnapper tried to stop her, but Orange wouldn't allow it. Not anymore. <laughs> Yelling, Don't mess with me. I got the power, God. And it's me on my side. side. Danny DeVito knew it was all about that slimy purple hair, so he sang it right off. The evil pigeon panicked at this, stumbled back, and Pippin the Tarantula helped her to defenestrate herself. What the heck does that mean? Hold on. To throw someone out of a window? Why do we have a word for that? <laughs> when everyone surrounding Orange realized that she was my dad, <laughs> they <laughs> they exclaimed, Jumping jelly 
Babies! With this newfound knowledge and a blossoming friendship with Danny DeVito, the girl decided to start a new life by moving to Wakanda and channeling her magic through her to become a Master General, Doctor, Sir, Director, Executive, Vice, Ma'am. Best of all, she got to finally attend that horse funeral. <laughs> the moral of that story is that if you've got dreams to chase, go get them, games. <laughs> All right, that was a lot of fun. Yes, I just fixed my hair. Deal with it! I think we made these stories just a little bit better. I had a lot of fun with them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Wait, whoa, it's the Trender Site. These are awesome. Thomas himself oh helped design them. Uh, okay. Logan has real note card holding action. Watch your head. If you squeeze Virgil's hand, he'll say nothing, but he'll silently wonder to himself why you did that. They also glow in the dark if you put glow in the dark tape on them. Cool! Glow in the dark tape sold separately, not by us. Try a craft store or something. Only by getting all four of the sides will you unlock the Thomas figurine for free! Wow, that's. um. Uh, okay. They also need to come with their own unique box. My palace has just been discontinued. Okay, I need these for a second. I need to break away from this commercial bit to talk about some promo stuff for a second. Sorry, Gavin. These fun size sander sides drop October 30th, and it's a one-time release, so get them while you can. The fun support us directly while giving you some neato shelf decor. Five lucky people will also be getting a free signed box containing the U2s of their choosing. If you want to enter, go to thomassanders.u2s.com, link in the description, and follow the steps on the page, like following U2s on Twitter or visiting the post on my Instagram. The more steps you enter, the higher your chances of winning one. All right, anyways, sorry. Back to the commercial. Get your Sanders sides today. Each figure sold separately. Batteries not included or necessary. If you want to see a video like this in the future, or if you want to see a different theme, please let us know down in the comments. We love suggestions from all of you. And if you would like to be a part of videos like this in the future, Sorry, please bye. be sure to follow Sorry, me on Twitter time, so that you can be alerted to when I do a video like this again. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out. I want a green screen, so feel free to put anything in the background. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. Country. Texas. <laughs> Judge Judy. Red Koala Koala Bear Lin Manuel Miranda Said it and forget <laughs> it Hippo Africa Hippo <laughs> Careening Flying Squirrel Banana Grease I'm scratching my butt, it's true <laughs> We we stand blue in this house oh <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> that was that. Honestly, I didn't expect my pot to actually make it in. <laughs> we stamp potatoes in this fandom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I know I haven't uploaded yet this week, but... My editor's been a little ill, um, so I might upload later today, I might, might upload tomorrow, it depends on timing and all that. Anyway, um, <laughs> that, that, that was fun. I'm fixing my own hand now, I'm bashing my desk too. Ugh, I can't speak. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, I love that. I love. How quick, 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 crazy that that got got to me. Fact, fact that Thomas kind of lost a few times laughing. Oh my god! <laughs> I love this fandom, this community. So blooming creative and talented. Like what the the animations? So holy crab apples! <laughs> <laughs> I should I should probably end this now. <laughs> um Yeah, so
gaming video will, will be out soon. I It's either Happy Wheels or Roblox. I can't remember completely off the top of my head. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get back back to uploading what's a wait, wait, wait but it's awkward because I'm working it around two ink toba th things. Well, Sanders toba and Fam toba. Often I'm up till very, very, very early mo morning drawing or collaging or doing what. Ever. What I might do, do is I'll sh showcase all the p pictures I've done in no, no, no ve ve November book because I'm planning on doing a huge video where I basically talk about all the th things I've done throughout lockdown and s since restrictions lifted to because a lot has happened. I've attended VidCon now, which is online. I've become a fan of it, and I've interacted with, with Thomas so many, many times online. And oh my gosh, every time I freak out or I squeal, <laughs> uh, you're probably still watching this. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling now. Uh, thank you guys for watching, please like, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that li little bell to t turn on notifications. Yes, this is completely, well, mostly unedited. Um, <laughs> so, apologies if, it, apologies if it's a bit messy. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye. A potato?